Let's turn attention to Enugu State, where the Vice President of Nigeria, Yenu Oshimbaju, is challenging the Nigerian Air Force to look inward for the indigenous solutions to aircraft manufacture. Professor Oshibaju, who represented President Muhammad Buhari as a reviewing officer at the grand finale of the 59th anniversary celebration of the Air Force, also tasked them to always live up to their statutory role. Sifon Isain has the details. It's the grand finale of events to mark the 59th anniversary of the Nigerian Air Force. This time, the Vice President is representing the President as a reviewing officer of the parade. The Air Force authorities also use the events to showcase the dexterity of their aircraft pilots. The federal government acquired dozens of combat and non-combat aircraft for the Air Force as well as unmanned aerial vehicles. But let us never lose sight of the reason for our existence as the military component of government. It is that the security and well-being of our people is an irreducible minimum and the chief responsibility of all legitimate governments. I therefore charge you to continue to work to earn the confidence of the nation and the respect of the international community as you protect lives and property, neutralizing all existing and emerging national security threats. The latest aircraft acquired by the Air Force are the DA-62 and the Winglong-2 UAV. The Vice President inducts the aircraft into the order of battle. This brings to an end activities to mark this year's Nigerian Air Force anniversary. This brings to an end ceremonies to mark the 59th anniversary of the Nigerian Air Force, but it also opens up a new visa challenge for the Nigerian Air Force to live up to its statutory responsibility. Sifon ACN, TVC News, Enugu.